Don't tell her how many boyfriends she's got. Come on, baby. All the things we've been through. Baby, how you gonna do that? How can you believe wrong with me? How can you do that to me? Come on, baby. Come on now. Give me this knife before you hurt somebody. Fine. I'm gonna pack my stuff. And this time when I leave, I ain't coming back. Out, you're really gonna be sorry because I'm gonna be long gone. As good as I've been to you, I'm the best man you ever had, Cassie. And you're gonna accuse me. And you're gonna stab me too. Nah, I ain't gonna take that from you or that lying child of yours. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, baby. I'm sorry. It's okay. Excuse me for trying to keep my family together. Did I put Reggie over my child? No. Did I put my child over Reggie? No. Did I put myself over both of them? Well, you're damn right. I mean, you, you ask any woman. And they'll tell you how hard it is to keep a man, especially when you have a child. I mean, look at me. Who else am I going to get? Yeah. They say sex is overrated, but shh, being alone sure ain't. I don't care how hard you squeeze a pill, it ain't going to squeeze you back. I mean, it's real easy for people to talk you know, on the outside looking in and criticize about what I should have done. But yeah, I love my baby. But things were real different back then. I mean, nowadays, if you discipline a child, they call that child abuse. If you go too far on a date, they call that rape. <laughs> when I was a kid, you were taught to just move on. If things happened, if it didn't kill you, then you got through it. It happened to me. And my mother told me, she said, baby, it ain't no sense in you hating your daddy. Because we all got our crosses to bear and our little dresses to wear. I don't remember crying another tear after that day. I think I know now the little girls like me never grow up. They just die. No, not always. Sometimes they hide. It's a defense mechanism, I guess. I think they hide to protect themselves from the world around them. Yeah, would the world better protect itself from me? Oh, Michelle. Done more harm to yourself than you have anybody else. 
I know a DA and a judge that would disagree with you. Maybe so. Even they would have to admit there's something pretty strange about a mother and a daughter. Don't mention molestation in the middle of a murder case. My mother is a piece of work. She swears she ain't got no memory of nothing. And you know what? I halfway believe her. She's got this whole don't look, don't tell policy, and if she's convinced there wasn't nothing ill going on between her man and her daughter, then nothing happened as far as she was concerned. She just kept looking the other way. Michelle? Jordan? You got a visitor outside on the porch. Tyler, why you got to be so early? Oh, well. It if it ain't my little chef. Purvis. Heard you're back home. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how long it'd be before you showed up. It's because you pay your debt back to society don't mean you pay your debt to me. I will. Look, I ain't even got a job yet, and you sweating me? Well, sure you do. Your old job is still waiting for you at the club. Best book I ever had. You know, it may not look like it from the outside, but that ain't me no more. I'm going to church. Okay, I'm just trying to keep my sanity. Unless you got my five thousand dollars, you'll be butt neck and swinging on a pole tonight. Well, you can't get blood from a turnip. But I can from a cracker. What you gonna kill me over some money? I might. I should. Right out here in the open, huh? You really are dumber than you look. <laughs> yeah, well, look at you. I know Michelle. I knew would've been crying like a baby by now. Mm. What they did to you in that prison, huh? Nothing compared to what they did to me out here. What? Oh. You supposed to be hard now? Huh? Well, I'll show you hard. Is this how they started treating women since I've been gone? You crazy? Go kill me! Well, you wanna act like a man, huh? I'm gonna beat you down like a man. You! You gon' be a young club tonight. You gon' be a young club tonight. You gon' be a young club tonight. You think you'll find another man like me? You think you'll find another man like me? It's cause I'm feeling you. It's cause I'm feeling you. Imagine growing up with a pervis under the same roof. That's what Michelle had to go through when she was living with Reggie. I was the only one she told about Reggie. That's how painful it was. And still is. Your own stepdaddy treat you worse than a dog. <sighs> she must have went numb. Because as soon as she could get out the house, she hooked up with a fool like Purvis. One bad situation after another. That's what we both had in common. Now look at her. She an ex-con. She ain't got no home. She ain't got no place to go. What she got to look forward to? How many people have got an enemy to deal with? Something or somebody that doesn't want you to be free. Some, some memories, some smudge, some grudge, some injustice, some unrighteousness that, that keeps ringing your phone. And all of us have to deal with the, the ringing. You can't stop it from ringing, but you can stop answering the phone. Do not disturb me anymore. Stop Lennox Lewis. I need a fashion show. Well, 
yes it is. Who does this say I'll be right back? Let you see something or hear something that somebody said about you to get you back. I'm looking for Tennessee Jordan.